Okay, now we will move to our next product. We call it uh, sawdust dryer. Um, sawdust dryer it is indirect drying tube dryer. We also call it a rotary dryer or tubular, tubular dryer. It uh, adopts the counter current drying principle to achieve the purpose of drying. Sawdust drying equipment owns a wide range of applications. It can be used in chemical industry. Uh, light industry, agriculture, food industry, and uh, feed industry, and uh, other small particles of loose material drying, such as light industry, the spent green, sawdust, pomace, sand, dra uh, drags, uh, uh, residues, and uh, chemical industries, small particles. It can dry sawdust, wood chips, uh, uh, spent green, cocoa peat, beans, residues, uh, etc. Now I will show you the photos of this tray. This is a photo of our. Uh, this is a photo of our status dryer machine. <coughs> uh, this is the dust dust catcher, and this is the dry body. Uh, this has a pipes which to convey the dryers and to transport of the hot air. Uh, the hot air will be feeding from the Hot air stove. Uh, let's see the next photo. This is the side of the uh, green dry of the sodas dryer. Uh, here there is the hot air stove. It uh, produces and provides the hot air of this drying work. Yeah. Then feeding from here to this dryer. Then uh, from this side to this side. Then. Uh, it will recycle from this pipe to the bottom of the dryer. Look, the bottom of it. it is insulation layer. It can um, protect the heat of the dryer. And then also from this hole, the final uh, temperature will be around uh, 20 to 30 temperatures, uh, 20 to 30 degrees. Uh, this is also the dryer in our warehouse. This has picture the dryer. Uh, this one is the stove. Uh, it, uh, it can use uh, coal, wood, husker, uh, straws as a uh, fuel, as a uh, heat source. And except uh, this, you can also choose to use uh, diesel and gas as a uh, fuel. But uh, you, won't, we will, you won't use this stove, but you have to change it to uh, gas burner and uh, diesel burner to instead of this uh, uh, stove. Uh, if you want to use coal as the uh, heat source, at this part you have to add water. So as the combined function, it will produce coal gas. Then, uh, then burning the Coal gas then produce hot air to the dryer. Uh, there are some more controls of these types to control the temperature and the hot volume to the dryer. I look at this, uh, the, it is an uh, inner design picture. Uh, at the dryer, at the dryer inner pipe, there are many tubes. Uh, we call it uh, indirect drying because hot air is in is in these small pipes and uh, but the, the materials are out of the uh, pipes, so the materials are dried by the hot pipes, not by the hot air directly. Uh, it, it, uh, for the material like sawdust, which is easily burning, in which is easy, easily burning, so we use the uh, 
we designed this type of dryer to avoid the risk of fire in drying stuff. And this is uh, the also the fire. And this is the hot air stove. And this part can, can feed the whole wood from here. And this is a control panel, the motors, and uh, the bearing, bearings and uh, wire, uh, wire, wire, electric wires and cables to influence the dryer to test. Oh, this is a complete, uh, complete uh, uh, production of this dryer, include uh, this dryer and this stove together. Oh, this is for delivery. Uh, this is the working site from a plant from um, Mongolia. Um, as the uh, foundation, you can use cement and uh, as the foundation. Uh, this part is higher and this part is lower so that the materials after feeding to the dryer, it can, um, it can flow from one side to another side and then discharge. It is continuous dry, drying. Uh, this is also and this is the control panel for our plant from Thai. Well, the language you can see the language is special in Thai language, and uh, uh, we can also re, uh, customize uh, in other languages. If you want, uh, if you don't want the English type, we can um, we can make it according to your requirement. And uh, this is uh, the working site from Korea. Uh, this plant uses a steel frame to support this dryer and a steel frame to support this belt conveyor. So, uh, belt conveyor, this belt conveyor is for feeding function. Feeding from here, then they feed into this plant. The dryer will from this side to this side. Then Discharge will be from here. Use the belt conveyor to discharge materials. And this part is also the dryer. Now we can show you some videos of this dryer. It is a very popular series. And this is also the dryer of this sawdust, the video of this sawdust dryer. You can see the videos.
Brown Rockland from New Zealand. He plans to try the Greek radish. You can see this is another video. Okay. <laughs> And this is the video for his Now let's let me show you a video of the dryer discharge. Let's check the dust. <laughs> This is a video for Thank you. 